Hello everyone, in this video, we will walk you through the Qualcomm Intelligent Multimedia SDK. Explore the functional SDKs that make up the Qualcomm IM SDK and the SDK installer. We will also see how we can download this SDK and compile the sources. So let's begin. The Qualcomm IM SDK is a unified environment for developing AI and multimedia applications at the edge on the Qualcomm Linux platforms. The SDK is based on GStreamer, which is an open source multimedia framework. The GStreamer provides a modular, scalable, and customizable environment to develop intelligent multimedia applications. Let's take a look at the architecture of Qualcomm IM SDK. The Qualcomm IM SDK encompasses individual SOM components called functional SDKs. The first one is Qualcomm IM SDK. This is the functional Qualcomm IM SDK, which is the core component of the product SDK. It exposes base GStreamer utilities and other multimedia plugins. The next component of the product SDK is TF Flight Runtime. It contains a set of delegates that accelerate TF Flight operations on GPU and DSP. The product SDK also includes a Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK and Qualcomm A Engine Direct SDK that enable machine learning use cases. Now we will look at the workflow to create an application or a plugin using platform ESDK. Generated from the Qualcomm Linux platform image, the SDK provides a comprehensive Yocto environment and it allows you to synchronize, modify, compile, and install applications and open source plugins. It also provides an installable package for PC host. The SDK uses the dev tool mechanism to download, compile, and install reference applications and plugins. The platform ESDK is an installer and it allows you to compile, modify Qualcomm IM SDK components and reference applications. We will walk you through these steps to get started and then show you how to uh, use the platform ESDK to compile and install reference applications. The Qualcomm IM SDK plugins and your own customized applications to a device, such as device with the Qualcomm Robotics RV Region 2 platform. Here are the general steps to set up the SDK and create an application. And in a moment, we will walk you through each of these steps. The first step in the process is to download the product SDK or compile the SDK in source. Once downloaded, unzip and install the platform ESDK. Then you can create your own customized applications. In the final step, you can compile and install your application to a device. Now we will show you how to download and install Qualcomm IM SDK. Make sure you have a host machine set up for Ubuntu 22.04 with at least 100 GB of free space with sudo access and an SSH connection. First, download the ESDK from Qualcomm Release Archive by running the following command. Once the zipped SDK file finishes downloading, unzip the SDK to a folder of your choice by running the following command. If you do not have write permissions for the directory, you can set the proper permissions by running this command. Next, let's install the platform ESDK. And when prompted, please provide the file system path where you want ESDK installed. To proceed with the installation, type Y for yes and wait for the installation verification. Once the installation completes successfully, run the following command to set the ESDK root variable. Now let's verify that the ESDK installation was successful. You can see that the Qualcomm IM SDK layers are part of the installation. Now let's see how to compile and install reference applications. The first step is to set up the environment. Run this command. The next step is to download the reference application source code. After the source code finishes downloading, verify that the reference application source code is downloaded to this location. Here, you can see the source code for all of the sample apps. We can customize these apps by modifying and then compiling them. When the customization is done, run the following command to rebuild the reference app. As you can see, the customized application is being built. After the build is complete, the next step is to generate the package. To generate the package and the application installer on the device, run the following command. Once the generation is complete, verify that the IPK is available at this given path. 
copy the IPK to the device to install the compile reference apps. The next step is to log in to the SSH shell and push the IPK onto the device. Run the following command. If prompted, enter the password for the SSH shell. Now we are connected to the device. To disable SE Linux on the device, run the following command on the target. Now we need to follow these steps on the host machine. Run the following commands by copying the following onto the device. Log in again to the SSH shell to access the device. Remember to enter the password. Now install the IPK packages we have generated for our customized sample application. We can use this opkg command. And finally, verify that the IPK has installed successfully by looking for the following message. Now you can run the modified app by running the following command from the terminal. Run the following customized applications. For this example, we are running the classification app. Make sure that all of the requirements are met. To stop the application, type Ctrl C. Now, let's see how to compile a Qualcomm IM SDK plugin. First, we need to set up the environment by running the following command. Once the setup is done, download the Qualcomm IM SDK plugin source code. We need to use the devtool modify command to download the source code for the plugin. Once the downloaded source code is finished, we need to verify the workspace. Here, we can see the plugin source code. We can modify and compile this code. Once it has been customized, we can rebuild the plugin using this command. The rebuild is now done. Now it is time to generate the plugin installer to install the application on the device. Once the package is generated, verify the installable package is present at the following path. The next step is to set up an SSH connection with the device. We can install the IPK onto the device by logging into the SSH shell. If prompted, please enter the password. Disable SE Linux onto the device by running the following command on the target device. Now, let's push the generated packages onto the device. The next step is to log into the SSH shell. To install the package, we can use the opkg command. And last, verify that the IPK installation was successful. Next, let's walk through the steps for creating your own application and installing it on the device. The first step is to set up the environment and verify if setup was successful. Navigate to the root folder of sample applications. For this example, we are going to make a copy of one of the existing sample applications and make a copy of it with a new name. We will make a copy of the classification app and rename it as AI classification one. We need to modify the cmakelist.txt file as we have changed the name. Next, change the directory into the sample apps directory. We need to modify the cmakelist.txt file and add the new application which will be part of the compilation. In this case, we add AI classification one. Now we are ready to build the application. We can use the dev tool to run the following command. Once the application build is compiled, we can verify that the binary was created. We can see the application binary is generated. 
or GSTA classification one. Next, let's generate the application installer to install the application onto the device. We can use the devtool package command. Verify that the IPK was installed. Use the following command. Now that the IPK was generated, let's verify the success of installation. The next step is to set up an SSH connection with the device. Copy the sample app IPK onto the device here and then install. Now let's connect the device to push the IPK via SSH shell using the following command. If prompted, enter OE Linux123 as the password for the SSH shell. We are connected to the device now. To disable SE Linux onto the device, run the following command on the target device. Now change the directory where our APK was generated using the following command on the target device. Log into the device again and enter the password. We can see our packages here. To install our packages, we can use the opkg command. Installation is now complete. Now it is time to run the new application. First, set up this environment variable. And finally, we use the following command to run the application. We can see the new application is running. So this is how we can easily compile and install IPK on the device and run that customized application. To stop the application, use control C. Thanks for watching. For more information about Qualcomm IMSTK, please visit the links in the description.